The second one is she stays over. She either asks you to stay over or, or she asks to stay over at your place. The point is that every time a woman ever stayed over in my place and we had sex the next morning, not that she left, but we had sex the next morning, I usually saw her afterwards. I usually, it usually became like a friends with benefit type of thing, okay? Women say app photos on Tinder never work. Okay, they always say that. They're like, if you post a, a photo of abs, I'm immediately swiping right left on you. But studies show, contrary to popular belief, studies show that having abs, or even, or even a photo of your abs in the selfie, actually works. And the irony of it is that women say, oh, oh you, you know, we don't, we don't like guys who pose on, on camera showing their bodies. How ironic. So it's almost like a hypocrisy. Women say that being cold doesn't work and that you have to be nice to get them. I work with women, I coach women all the time. That's not true. In fact, when you're cold towards them and they like you, and because it only works if they kind of like you, if you're cold towards them and they like you, it actually makes you, it actually makes you make them like you more. Women say that being cold doesn't work and that you have to be nice to get them. I work with women, I coach women all the time. That's not true. In fact, when you're cold towards them and they like you, and because it only works if they kind of like you, if you're cold towards them and they like you, it actually makes you, it actually makes you make them like you more. The first one is false hope. What they do is they promise you some sugar walls, right? Or they try to honey trap you. They pretty much promise you sex. They promise to be in a relationship with you because they know what you want. They see right through you. And how do you know they're doing that to you? Well, you, you, you've been with them more than three dates and you still haven't hit. If after three dates, you ain't smashing, one, it might mean she fucking likes you to the point that she says, I like him so much, I don't want to screw it up. Second thing is that they do, they're doing that because they want to extrapolate as much resources from you before leaving you. It's banging your friends or family. Look, man, anytime a girl does that, she's just a fucking savage, dude. It's just that simple. She's a savage and she don't give a fuck. It's just that simple. She just doesn't care. Anytime a woman bangs you or your bangs your friends or you, she got no morals. She don't give a fuck about you. And most likely she might be she might be even trying to hurt you because one of the ways that women get revenge on guys is banging their friends. Some of them. And the ones that do, they're just trying to fuck with you. Never hit a woman or verbally abuse a woman. First and foremost, do not verbally or physically abuse people in general. Okay? Because just if, if I was just rolling the dice, I, at the minimum, one in 100 guys abuse women. And with women, at the minimum, one in 100 women would abuse a guy. So please don't fucking do that shit, okay? Never mirror a woman's interest. If a woman is out of 10, don't fucking mirror her. Don't be doing that shit. Don't mirror a woman's interest. If it, it, because if a woman's texting you fast, don't text her fast. Don't mirror her. If she's acting like a goofball, let her act like a goofball. Be the dad in her life. Be the stable figure. Calm down. Do not mirror a woman's interest. If she's sending you a lot of text messages with ha ha's and LOLs and fucking emojis everywhere here and there, you don't do that. You you make it dry but interesting in terms of. You respond to her, you know, you, you show interest. Heck, you even joke around a little bit, but you do it in a dry way. Let her say, let her say, what did this text mean? You know, like, like play around without the ha ha's and the was if that's what you want to, if that's what you want to do. The point is do not mirror her because if you do, if you mirror her, you'll notice that she gets turned off. Don't hit on every woman you meet. Ask for every woman's number. Always be closing. Never do that. Especially if you're in college. Especially if you're in a place where everybody knows you. If you're in a small city. Because word gets around. Word will get around that you're the type of dude that hits on every woman that walks. And women will talk about you. Bad about you. And your reputation will get worse. you notice that women don't even hit on you anymore. You want to know why? Because you're hitting on every woman. Women speak. Be the guy that's more mysterious. Be the guy that women ask whether or not he hits on women. If you find a woman that you like, and you know you're gonna see her over and over and over again, play the long game, my dude. Learn the game of patience. Recent breakups. When a woman just broke up with a guy, that girl will pull away. When you find out that she, when she says, I just broke up with my, with my man, 
I'm telling you, if he broke up with her, she's going to pull away eventually. Women who are on the rebound usually pull away and they disappear on you. So what I would say, I would run away from those girls. Mm -mm. But put your expectations low. Guys, it's important to ask women like their recent breakups. It really is important because it's going to make, make sense of a lot of the things they do to you. Like a lot of the disappearance is actually because they're back with their boyfriends. And we're so self-centered that we just think it's our fault. Sometimes it's not your fault. Sometimes you do everything right and they still don't like you. Sometimes you fuck it up. You know, they still like you, right? It's funny how that works, right? All right, guys. So I want you guys to check out my online course called Dark Game. That's right, people. Dark Game. And this course is pretty much, I review to you the secret tactics, the secret techniques to create attraction in almost any woman, right? But not just attraction. Attraction to the point that makes her want to see you all the time, where she's the one initiating all the contact, right? Now, now just imagine to be able to keep all of the girls in your life that that you lost because of you because of your stupidity imagine and i have stupidity too imagine being able to keep them imagine being able to have five six women available to you wanting to see you imagine being able to create intense relationships where they're all doing all the work people that kind of stuff does exist people now i'm not going to promise you to that you're going to ban like 40 50 women I'm going to promise you that you're going to be able to keep the women you have that you, you that you get with. I can promise you that, that they're keeping them will increase with this course. But let me keep showing you something. This course is pretty huge, people. It's a huge course. This course has over 50 videos, 50 videos, right? And some of them you could get for free. If you if you just sign up, you, you get free videos, right? But in, in these videos, let me show you guys the, the, the course, right? All right, oh, guys. Shit. <laughs> That's me right there, right? In this video, I pretty much teach you guys how to find your purpose, right? All this is how to find your purpose, discovering your purpose, right? I teach you guys then about female psychology, all of the principles about female psychology you guys need to understand. I then teach you guys the mindset, the, 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 the proper mindset that you need, that you guys need to deal with women. After that, I teach you guys 21 videos on how to game. I mean, pretty, it's just, just it's pretty much unbelievable, man. I, I got a <laughs> make this available right but it's unbelievable how many i pretty much put everything out of game social circuit game strategies threesomes foursomes everything right and on top of that i give you guys a a, um, a few bonuses how to overcome approach anxiety why you can't take actions a dickens pattern to change your mentality how to go from open to transitions right 81 minute long people this is like i don't know how long this is but this is hours hours and i mean hours worth of content and you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. I mean, you, you without questions asked. All for $99, people. People, this is originally, this could be this could be around a, a few thousands, to be honest with you, right? But you guys get it for $99, right? All you got to do is just go over here, purchase the course, you know, and you'll get access to it. And if you don't like it, you could just message me and get, and get your money back, people. Look, man, this is, don't be hard-headed, people. Don't be hard-headed. If you, this is the course that you guys need, right? It gives you guys everything. I cover everything. I could promise you, man, this is, you, you're not gonna get a more in-depth course on how to attract women and keep them more than this, all right? Anyways, people, check it out. 30 day my money back guarantee, there is no risk. And you can get the free course. You can get the free trial. The free trial are these videos that you get for free, right? You guys could just sign up. You can watch all of these videos for free, right? And there's no, and you don't have to pay, all right? Anyways, I'll see you guys inside. I run, I want to see you guys inside because again, people, this, you, you can't lose nothing. There's a 30-day money back.